In this episode of NCAP TV, we're going to talk about the role of hydrogen peroxide in NCAP hydrox. Stay tuned. So here we have a jug of NCAP hydrox as you're going to receive it from us at Excellent Supply. It's going to come in a bag. So you might wonder, well, why are you putting my NCAP hydrox in a plastic bag? Well, you'll notice in the box it actually comes with this little uh, piece of paper explaining what's up with the bag. The reason we do that is that the hydrogen peroxide in NCAP hydrox is very active. It's extremely potent, powerful hydrogen peroxide and it will tend to expand, especially in hotter weather, it will expand a bit. So we put it in a bag just in case a little bit of it seeps out of the jug because then that gets the box soggy and of course the UPS driver freaks out when that happens. So that's why we bag it. But your end cap hydrox, you'll want to probably keep your end cap hydrox in a dark place if possible. And what we suggest is periodically doing this, open the cap and kind of squeeze the jug a little bit to kind of burp it, put the cap back on it tight. This cap, by the way, is also a cap that's different than on our other products. This is actually what's called a vent cap. So it vents out some of that uh, uh, vapor as it exchanges. So that's some of the extra effort we have to do with NCAP Hydrox because it's such a potent hydrogen peroxide that goes into this formula. Now when you think about your typical hydrogen peroxide from the drugstore, comes in a dark brown bottle as you see here. And there's a reason why they do that. It's again, it's because if, if hydrogen peroxide, especially at this low volume of 3%, gets exposed to light or oxygen, it's going to go off pretty quickly and start to lose its potency. However, what we're dealing with here is very powerful, very strong hydrogen peroxide formula. So again, when you keep it stored in the back of your van, normally the back of the van is gonna be dark. So uh, we find that we get pretty good life out of a jug when it's in a sealed jug. Now, when you mix NCAP Hydrox, is a question we get sometimes. I've mixed NCAP Hydrox, what will the shelf life be? Your shelf life with a mixed quantity, I would say use it that day. Again, hydrogen peroxide breaks down very quickly when it's exposed to light and oxygen. The byproduct is this breaks down, what it's gonna give off is actually the O of the hydrogen peroxide, the oxygen. So you'll find, I've actually noticed sometimes cleaning with the NCAP Hydrox, if you go into a building, after you've cleaned with it, it's like <sighs> the air seems different because, and it's because you're just pumping oxygen into the room. So where you'll wanna use NCAP Hydrox will be in situations where you've got organic soils such as uh, coffee, browning, red wine, uh, water stains, works really well on that. Organic types of soil, it's a terrific product for that. You can also use it more concentrated as a spotter if you're dealing with something very concentrated that's an organic type of a stain or spotting. Uh, it works well on urine, uh, blood, It'll, it will clean up just about anything you throw at it. Again, keep in mind you're dealing with a very strong hydrogen peroxide it's also extremely acidic. In the jug, it's right about 3.5 pH. So it's way down on the acid side of the scale. So it's a very unique product. It's loaded with hydrogen peroxide. It's, uh, it's head and shoulders above what this product is uh, as far as its potency, obviously, but I just put this here for illustrative purposes to kind of get your mind wrapped around what we're talking about. But when you work with it, I think you're gonna find that the encapsulating property as well as the hydrogen peroxide component work together to really give you some excellent results, particularly when you're dealing with browning or any type of an organic type of a stain in the carpet. One additional thing that we had to do with NCAP Hydrox, we're talking about a very volatile environment where we've got that very, very potent, powerful hydrogen peroxide. It's, it's, a, it's a bear. And, and then we've got that extremely acidic property to keep that hydrogen peroxide stable that environment doesn't play well with normal encapsulation polymer. So some guys will say, well, I'm just gonna take my encapsulation detergent and add, uh, like go to the beauty supply store and add some 40 volume hydrogen peroxide to my um, encapsulation detergent. You run a high risk of messing everything up if you do that because the hydrogen peroxide will not play well with a typical encapsulation polymer. That's why when we formulated NCAP Hydrox, we actually went and found 
a polymer that's stable with hydrogen peroxide. So we're using a different polymer in NCAP Hydrox than we use in all of our other products. Still dries down brittle and works very much like our other products do, but it's stable with that very, very powerful, potent hydrogen peroxide that we have in NCAP Hydrox. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a background on what we're doing here with NCAP Hydrox. It is a killer encapsulation hydrogen peroxide product, really unique. We've compared it and measured its potency, its hydrogen peroxide potency to other products in the industry and we find that I haven't seen any that quite hit the level that we have with NCAP Hydrox. Anyways, uh, that's the, the background on what's going on with the hydrogen peroxide component in NCAP Hydrox. Hopefully that will help you to get a little bit more information, a little bit of background on what we've done with NCAP Hydrox. Keep in mind that it does have that bleaching component so it can pull colors if it's not color fast. So you wanna check for color fastness first. But typically a synthetic carpet certainly won't be a problem. So enjoy working with NCAP Hydrox. It's just one more thing that we do here at Excellent Supply to help you max your NCAP. Please uh, hit the like, subscribe, share your comments below. Maybe your uh, input on working with NCAP Hydrox. Any suggestions or tips or questions you have, put it in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching NCAP TV.